This is every Fortnite Chapter 1 season explained in 10 minutes. Season 1. Starting on October 25th and ending on December 13th of 2017, Battle Royale had only been out for one month. Season 1 was the shortest season in Chapter 1 and introduced many key game features, such as the item shop, locker, leaderboards, and season levels. A season shop was also introduced where you could purchase items such as the Renegade Raider and Aerial Assault Trooper skins once you hit a certain level. Many other influential Fortnite weapons and items were also introduced, including the Slurp Juice, Medkit, Bush, Launchpad, Suppressed SMG, and the Smoke Grenade. Oh, and I can't forget to mention that in the last couple days before the season ended, we also got the insane 50v50 LTM that made the game even more popular than it already was at this time. Season 2 Season 2 ran from December 14th, 2017 to February 21st, 2018. This was the first season to have a theme, being medieval, something that would continue in every season to this day. At launch, the map didn't change, but in the third update of the season, we had a major map overhaul, bringing us locations like Tilted Towers, Shifty Saffs, and Dunk Junction. An all-new Battle Pass came in to replace the Season Shop, a decision that would change the gaming industry as a whole. The Season 2 Battle Pass is the only Battle Pass to have 70 tiers and gave us outfits like the Sparkle Specialist and Black Knight. Season 2 had a lot of things added to the season, like the Boogie Bombs, Small Shield Potion, Suppressed Pistol, Cozy Campfire, Chug Jug Minigun, Cupid Crossbow, and the Impulse Grenade. Lastly, Season 2 was the first season to introduce A1 Umbrella. Season 3 Season 3 started on February 22nd and ended on April 30th of 2018 and was space themed. Lucky Landing was added to the map and a meteor was spotted high in the sky. That meteor started what became the Fortnite storyline. The Battle Pass was up to 100 tiers, giving us the knockoff John Wick's game named The Reaper. New weapons and items were added to the season, including the hand cannon, hunting rifle, remote explosive, supply llama, heavy shotgun, guided missile, vending machine, portal fort, lut machine gun, and clingers. Most notably though, in Season 3, Fortnite became available on iOS, which we all know how that one turned out. The last thing I want to mention about Season 3 is that this is the season where they introduced the shotgun delay, which broke the double pump meta. Season 4 Season 4 was, well, how do I put it? Just insane. Starting on May 1st and ending on July 11th, 2018, and with the theme Superheroes, so much happened during the season. First, the new season brought new locations. Dusty Depot got destroyed by the media in Season 3, with Dusty David replacing it. Risky Rears appeared on the map, and the villain lab popped up, which should be important later on. New to the season was Hop Rocks, Apples, Mushrooms, the Burst Assault Rifle, Jetpack, Bouncer, Thermoscoped Assault Rifle, Stink Bomb, Dual Pistols, Drum Gun, and the Shopping Cart, our first vehicle. New to this season was also our first Fortnite collab with Avengers Infinity War. A Thanos glove would fall on the map and you could play as him, becoming insanely overpowered. In this season's Battle Pass, Season 4 was the first season to introduce a secret skin, which was relative to the season storyline. Sprays were also introduced in the Battle Pass this season. Sin 4 also brought another video game industry changing event to take place, and that was live events. The rocket event took place on June 30th and left a giant crack in the sky until season 5. In the two weeks before the season ended, different items like llamas and the door burger were mysteriously rifted off of the island and appeared in real life. Season 5 Season 5 had the theme World Collision and ran from July 12th to September 26th of 2018. A couple of days before the season launched to a few weeks after, the Dirt Burger and different items like the Fortnite Llamas were rifted out of the Fortnite map and appeared in places like California and London. The Season 5 Battle Pass introduced two new types of cosmetics to the game, skin styles and toys. Two skins in the Battle Pass, Drift and Ragnarok, had unlockable styles that completely changed the way they looked. On top of that, we also had two toys, the basketball and the golf ball, which can interact with the map. If you headed to Lazy Links, you could play around the golf with the golf ball, and if you go to one of the basketball courts on the island, you could shoot some hoops. Map changes this season included places like Lazy Links replacing Anarchy Acres, and the Desert Biome featuring Paradise Palms replacing Moisty Mire. Season 5 introduced a giant purple cube that the community named Kevin, and after a long journey across the island, landed in Loot Lake, making the water bounty on the last week of the season. New things in the city included the submachine gun, the insanely broken compact SMG, the double barrel shotgun, heavy sniper rifle, suppressed assault rifle, rift to go, shockwaves, grappler, portal fortress, and the all-terrain cart, our second vehicle in the game. Season 6 Starting on September 27th and ending on December 5th of 2018, Season 6 was themed Corruption. After Kevin the Cube sank into Loot Lake, he brought up the house and created a floating island, leading Loot Lake to become Leaky Lake. Over the course of the season, the floating island would travel to seven different ruins that were added to the map and absorb the ruins' power. By the end of the season, the floating island returned to Leaky Lake and Kevin the Cube became unstable. On November 4th, Kevin the Cube exploded, giving us a season 6 live event named the Butterfly Event. We would be transported to this mysterious glowing area where we would meet what seems to be a cracked butterfly. 
New weapons and items in the season included the Shadow Stone, Chiller, Quad Launcher, Quad Crasher, Six Shooter, Balloon, Heavy Assault Rifle, Mounted Turret, and Dynamite. New to this season's Battle Pass was Pets, a backlink that had an animal on it that reacted based off how you played. Season 7 Season 7 was winter themed and ran from December 6th of 2018 to February 27th, 2019. New locations included Frosty Flights, Happy Hamlet, Polar Peak, and The Block. The Block was a community POI with the content constantly changing. Using the new creative mode introduced this season, players could create their own POI inside the blocks and submit it to Epic for a chance for the POI to show up in-game. Over the course of the season, the block changed 10 different times and was the first POI to not have an alliterative name, meaning every word starts with the same letter. Season 7's biggest change was the addition of Creative Mode. Exclusive to Battle Pass owners in the first week of Season 7, Creative Mode allowed players to create anything they wanted. Over time, this mode was expanded and got bigger, which we will talk about more in Season 9. New weapons and items associated included the X4 Stormwing, Infinity Blade, Presence, Boombox, Suppressed Sniper Rifle, Sculpt Revolver, Gliders, Sneaky Snowman, Chiller Grenade, Bottle Rockets, Infantry Rifle, and the Driftboard. Season 7 brought an entire ice bomb to the game, which brought the season storyline. Polar Peak was home to the Ice King and had a prisoner locked up. During the season, the prisoner escaped and started causing havoc all over the island. The live event for the season was the Ice King covering the entire island with snow. Kinda boring, but whatevers. New to this season battle pass was an animated Lowen's Green and Raps. Season 8 Season 8 was pirate themed and started on February 28th and ended on May 8th of 2019. Expanding on Season 7's storyline, the prisoner transformed the top left of the map and brought us new locations including a volcano, sunny skeps, and lazy lagoon. New things in the season included the pirate cannon, buried treasure, the baller, flint knock pistol, poison dart trap, banana, coconut pepper, boombo, the reboot system, and shadow bomb. Season 8's live event was named the unvaulting event and let players vote on one item that they wanted to unvault. The drum gun was picked and was immediately unvaulted following the event. After the voting, the volcano erupted, destroying Tilted Towers, Retail Row, and hitting the side of Polar Peaks Mountain. New to this season's battle pass was the party assist feature, which lets your friends help out with certain challenges. Season 9 Season 9 went from May 9th to July 31st of 2019 and was future themed. The destroyed Tilted Towers and Retail Row became Neo Tilted and Mega Mall, and the volcano became the pressure plant. On the side of the polar peak that was hit by the mountain, revealed a monster would set itself free and went swimming into the surrounding ocean. Over the course of the season, the pressure plant started building this giant robot named the Mech, and they used it to fight against this monster in the season's live event, titled The Final Showdown. The Final Showdown took place on July 20th and was a fight between the Mech and the monster, which was named the Devourer. The Mech ultimately won the battle and the Devourer's bones were left on the island to rot. Due to the event taking place right before the World Cup, no significant map changes took place outside of the Valor Bones. Since we just mentioned it, let's talk about the Fortnite World Cup. The Fortnite World Cup took place in 2019 and had a $40 million prize pool. Taking place in the New York City from July 26 to 28th, the Fortnite World Cup had solos, duos, and even creative. With the finals alone having a $30 million prize pool, the solo winner, Booger, took home the biggest gaming event payout at that time, with $3 million. New to Season 9 was the Combat Shotgun, Tactical Assault Rifle, Burst SMG, Storm Flick, Proximity Grenade Launcher, Loot Drone, Chug Splash Drum Gun, Airstrike, and the Storm Scout Sniper Rifle. Season X Season X started on August 1st and ended on October 13th of 2019, being time travel themed. We've had the most POIs this season with Tilted Town, Pandora, Mosty Palms, Gotham City, Starry Suburbs being new, and Dusty Depot, Retail Row, and Greasy Grove returning. The famous Brute, or Mechs, were added along with the Automatic Sniper Rifle, Junk Rift, Shield Bubble, Glitch Consumables, Zapper Trap, Spicy Tacos, Explosive Batarang, and the Batman Grapnel Gun. The Zero Point, a magical spear that was used during Season 9's live event to help defeat the Devourer, became unstable which led to this season's live event named The End. The End event took us to the end of Chapter 1 and it was about preventing the Zero Point from destroying everything. A mysterious team called the Seven assembled and created a rocket to prevent the Zero Point from basically destroying the world. The rocket that was created was the same as the rocket from Season 4 and was used to send the media into the Zero Point, causing it to implode on itself. Following the event, there was silence, a black hole that filled everyone's screen. For hours, the players could do nothing, but those hours led to a day, and then two, 
and then eventually led to Fortnite Chapter 2. So that was every Fortnite Chapter 1 season explained in 10 minutes. Obviously that wasn't exactly 10 minutes, it's just that this entire video itself is going to be exactly 10 minutes long. If you haven't already, please go check out my TikTok, link will be in the description below. And if you liked the video, please like and subscribe, and let me know if I should do a Chapter 2 version of this. I'm thinking about doing it, but I want to know what you guys think. Should I make a Chapter 2 version or should I not?